Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. Has crypto mining progressed to be more sustainable? Tara Wolf generates revenue by sustainably mining Bitcoin at its facilities in New York and Pennsylvania. And the founder, well, the co-founder and CEO and chair joins us now. Great to have you here with us today. We got to dive right in in the interest of time here. 800 milliwatts of zero carbon energy mining by 2025 is a goal that the company has set. How have you been able to refine the mining process in order to reach that target? It's, it's not about refining uh, the process. It's about, you know, the source of electricity. And we're focused on zero carbon. Uh, and, and we're getting that from hydro and from nuclear. OK, and so the gross margin mining, well, the gross margin from mining is 86 percent. But from my understanding, that's that's the book value. So what percentage of mined cryptocurrency do you hold versus sell? So at, at the current time, you know, the intention is to hold most of it, but the company reserves the right to sell uh, to afford CapEx. Um, building out these facilities is somewhat capital intensive, but our focus has been to get the energy infrastructure done first. Uh, and that way you have the plugs or the infrastructure built so you can optimize around the value of those plugs. Who do you imagine some of the consumers, the, the customers of yours would be if you did decide to sell in the future? Uh, so we're a proprietary miner. Um, so, you know, we're mining for ourselves uh, and, and we, we expect to have investors um, who like that model as opposed to, for instance, the host model, uh, which is very, very different, has, has very different risk elements to it. Um, and ultimately, you know, we would sell our Bitcoin if we chose to sell to the market. I mean, um, there's no shortage of, of, of the liquidity in terms of wanting to sell Bitcoin today. Selling to the market, would you do that as your own company, your own entity, and engage directly with prospective Bitcoin or cryptocurrency buyers? Or would that be to another entity, perhaps an app that holds Bitcoin and custodial services and allows others to buy into that? What would that yeah, look I like? Mean, you you would work through the pools, but again, our model is to try and hold on. I mean, we're taking a, a local current, a, a local commodity, which is electricity, uh, and we're converting it into sort of a global store of value, which is Bitcoin. Uh, our intention, again, would be to hold on to the Bitcoin. And if you need to sell to afford CapEx, then, then you make that decision. But ultimately, our goal would be to always look for the least expensive capital. You operate a facility in New York. What might other states be learning from the early moments of crypto mining in the Empire State? Listen, Bitcoin mining is about energy infrastructure and energy infrastructure has always had a regulatory overlay. So I think because we're infrastructure folks, you know, we've we've looked at the lay of the land. Um, we we love the regulatory environment in New York. Um, we, we particularly like it in Pennsylvania. We're the very supportive of the nukes. Um, and I think it's important to embrace regulation for crypto. So I think it's a state by state question. And again, I think we have to mine with zero carbon. You know, Earth Day, uh, this is the right thing to be talking about here. Zero carbon reduces your risk and reduces your price to produce Bitcoin. So and it's the right thing to do. That's the most important part. So I think state by state, energy resource by energy resource. What are the other states outside of New York and Pennsylvania that you look at and say, hey, that could be promising for future mining and in a sustainable way, as you mentioned? I think you could look at a place like Alaska at hydropower, as an example. Uh, you could look in Montana and some of, some of the hydro runoff there. Um, I think nuclear power is unique. We're the only folks that are, are focused on nuclear power and have a facility uh, that's taking electricity from a nuke. I think that's critical because those nukes provide massive spinning reserves. We, as an intermittent resource, you know, we can go up and down, we could be an anchor tenant for that nuke um, and provide a basis for them to keep the grid stable. So I think nuclear power and hydro are most important because you could achieve scale, which again, lowers your risk and lowers the cost of production of Bitcoin. What do investors need to know about your business model when evaluating the share price? The company just went public last year. Right. I, I, I think there, there are three things about us that we think are rather different. The first one is we're vertically integrated. So, you know, if you are a miner and you've gone to a host who's buying electricity from a utility, when, when you have an issue, 
you know, there's a lot of people that you call and it, there's a lot of change orders that get filed. When I have an issue on one of my sites, I call Gary or I call Doug and they both worked for me for 20 years. And I think that's very important. The second thing is there's leakage in price because those are three separate, not always aligned profit centers in a host model. If you're vertically integrated, it's one profit center. So I think that's an important element. The second, and I think most important, is ESG. Mm -hmm. There is no reason why every Bitcoin mind in this country cannot be on zero carbon. There is no reason for it whatsoever. It is the right thing to do. It lowers your costs and it reduces risk. You know, today, if you are mining using a fossil plant, you're exposed to all sorts of gas price volatility. You know, you had a segment on here about gas price. I mean, it, it's insane what's going on in the market. Now you're going to have to post credit to the grid uh, to, to, to be able to ensure that the grid can count on you as a customer, given the gas price volatility. So I think zero carbon vertical integration. The last thing for us is, you know, we're a very seasoned management team. I built out the Marathon facility in Montana. Uh, my team has been together for 20 years. Uh, five of our eight executives are women. Uh, 15 of our leadership have been together for over 15 years. So we're a seasoned energy infrastructure team. And I think, as you're seeing, we're talking about the challenging markets today. Right. You want to be the low cost. You want to be zero carbon. You want to have the best risk mitigation strategy, which is zero carbon. Right. And you want to have a seasoned management team so that you know how to deal in difficult markets. Paul, we got to leave things there on the day. Certainly appreciate the conversation. Want to check back in in the future as it's a big topic, making sure that any mining that does go forward is sustainable and environmentally friendly. Paul Prager, who is the Terra Wolf co-founder, CEO and chair of the board, joining us here this afternoon. Appreciate it.